Hi everybody, it's Martin the Flicking Feathers again today. I'm trying another Bonefish Fly for you. This is a pretty old school fly, but works well. It's called the Horror. Really simple, and as always there will be a materials list in the description, along with a link to Patreon for anybody who'd be interested in supporting the channel and becoming eligible for future giveaways, and links to some social media. The hook I've got here is an SL11 3H size 8, um, but you could tie it in 6s as well. Um, if you prefer it must add 34007, then it would be size 4 and 6 probably, would be your sizes that you're looking for. So I'm going to run on some red thread, about half the shank. I'm going to take some standard yellow chenille, expose the core a wee bit. Just tie that in to the back there. Just sort of leave that hanging out of my way. Now for the wing, I'm going to take um, some of the natural brown fibres from the back of a bucktail. And take more than you think you need, because um, I'm going to stack it and then I'm going to remove any sort of short fibres. So I mean, it depends on the quality of your tail, but sometimes sometimes you lose quite a lot. I'm just running the Velcro through it here to take away any under fur that may be there. Stick it in the stacker. A few sharp taps, taking a line up the edges. And then I'll turn the turn the vise. Just make sure it's nice and clean. That's not bad actually. And I'm going to tie it so that the ends are just coming past the hook point, like the the dark band is going to be like between the hook point and the hook barb. Just offer this in. Tied in nice and secure. I'm going to take a wrap behind it just to help stand it up slightly. And I'll come in and I'll sort of taper the ends here a wee bit. And I'll tidy all this up. Now, to help stand this up a bit, I like to just run a couple of turns of thread just to sort of post it. Then, I'll get some crystal flash. We need a single strand. And I'll offer it in on the side, just slightly longer than that bucktail. And then I'll pull it up the other side. I'll trim them so you're a bit. Just a couple of millimetres longer than the the bucktail. Take my thread to the front and I'll stick on a half hitch and then I'll turn the hook back this way. I find it much easier to wind the body um, when it's like this. And I just wind it forward pulling that wing out of the way every time. You might need to use your middle finger there to 
to uh, grip the chenille at times, just when you're moving the wing. And then come right in tight to the back of the wing to help stand it up, and then just in front of it. When you get to an eye length behind the eye, you can tie off your chenille. And then come to the front and I wind back. I build a nice big head. You want this kind of you want a big red spot. And then just come in. What finish? And another. And the beauty of this fly is, it's very light. Like it's it's for very skinny water, and you can use it in amongst like in amongst the turtle grass. You don't need to add a weed guard. This is generally enough. The stiffness of that bucktail just to turn the side bits of grass and what have you. So for a wee bit of security, get the super glue on. And I'll just let that sit for a couple of seconds and then I just quickly come in with my fingers and run them around. It flattens anything, any wee fuzzy bits from the chenille or anything that are sticking up. Gives you a nice smooth surface, and then I'll come in with some head cement. Just coat the whole head. And there you have it, that's the horror. Kind of classic, classic bonefish fly. Still worth a place in your box. It does work, especially among the turtle grass. It's like a generic shrimpy attractor. Lands, it's, it's unweighted. Lands very softly. You know, it's good for spooky fish. So I'd, I'd, I'd recommend you tie some. I know it doesn't look much, but it does work. So thanks for watching. Tight lines, guys. Bye.